guys, so I brought my book today. So we're going to be talking about the rules slash terms you need to know about acting. So let's go ahead and get in it. Hi guys, I'm back. trusty book i have had this for quite some time this is actually a sticker that i have got from working on one of my sets but we're not on that right now if you look at my bio it tells you what kind of video you're doing today yes it says kind of every day but i have a little baby so it's kind of hard to do that so each day has their specific type of video i will be posting every other day at least and if i can every day and so y'all know what kind of video you're going to be getting. If you see a post, just look in my bio and it will show. But today is about terms. So, I got my book here. I take it on set with me so sometimes I can write stuff down. So you can get stories. Because it's been a while and sometimes you forget stuff. But I want to make sure y'all have the most current information. I'm going to talk about what is the difference between each type of role when it comes down to acting. Yes, there's different types of role in acting. There's kind of like five you have to think about. And I have them right here. Actors. You have actors, which everyone knows. These are the main people that are people that are speaking on set. Yes, there are how to say main actors. There's also supporting actors. And then there's like the one-liners. These are all types of actors. One-liners can be background that they just pull up to be an actor or it can be somebody they legitimately cast it for a role or like those specific scenes where you know you see a comedian just pop up out of nowhere or a special actor just pop up out of nowhere and it's only there for like five minutes of the movie or tv show yeah those can be your one-liners but that's in the acting category then you have background 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 that looks stupid background these are the people that don't speak but they build your atmosphere pretty much they are your crowds they are your people that's sitting in the bar they're those people they don't say a word they're there and they're making you feel an emotion because that background can be a really bad scene because if the scene is sad and then you got people laughing and giggling it's more comical than it is serious now if you're looking for that comical look well that's what you do but backgrounds build your atmosphere for your back, your actors to do. Because your actors can see all the words they want, but y'all know bad acting as well. If their face doesn't line up with what they're saying, or if it doesn't seem believable, it's the same difference as if an actor is doing everything perfectly and the background looks silly and stupid, it's a bad atmosphere. Then you have your stand-ins. Your stand -ins. Stand-ins are not seen on camera. These are them people that literally stand in front of your camera just like I am. And then they will call in whatever actor it is. And they will come take the place and they will be in front of the camera recording. That is a stand-in. This is different than a stunt double. Stunt double. A stunt double you do see on camera. But if you ever notice a stunt double, let me put this down for one second. If you ever notice a stunt double, you're only going to see this out of a stunt double. I'm only going to see this out of a stunt double. I'm only going to see this out of a stunt double. And the stunt double is doing a stunt. Most times they will record them from the back or they will have them in angles where you cannot see their face. Unless their face just happens to look really good looking, really close, like twins. Because I know there's some actors that are twins that one is a stunt double and one is an actor. That is different. But if not, they're gonna have to try to CGI and fix all of this, which is something they do not want to do. And then, our last but not least, really, what it is. We should also talk about your crew, your director. Your director is overcharged of anything everything and they will be telling you 
and maybe they want you to move even if the crew set you there if it's the director you listen to them because that is the boss over them over your crew now you should always listen to crew no matter what but if the director is talking to you directly to do something you listen to the director you do not say a word you do not say somebody else said this pay attention to who's talking to you you should always listen to everybody on set especially if they are over you that is crew crew is different because they are not on camera now for the majority there are some crew members that work on camera you know like Tyler Perry he works on set he is an actor but he's also guess what the director so you should always listen to your director your director is the main person he is not talking to you he has somebody over you which I will go on in a separate video about who is over who when it comes to crew but the director if he talks to you straight listen always listen to whoever's talking around you because they may have a piece of information that somebody else does not have or they see something that somebody else may not see so there's people on set that set you but then it's director looking in the camera there's people looking in the camera and their job is to correct certain little things it's not that somebody is trying to read your own that's what it is but those are the different types of roles of an actor yes it can be kind of confusing yes it's hard rules for backgrounds is another video i'm gonna do and if you want to see that make sure you give this video a like a comment and don't forget to subscribe because i want to see y'all learn and develop i want y'all to be able to get on a set and get there and look amazing doing it i want y'all to get there and get all the compliments because there are sets that when you're when you're prepared and you're professional, you get some compliments. And they love to see them good background because they keep coming. They keep getting paychecks. And don't worry, I'm going to talk about paychecks too. Your different pay rates, what's worth it, what's not. Different things you can be a part of. If there's anything specific y'all want to know, I can speed that up and bring it up higher in my list of things to do. But you got to comment it. I don't know what y'all want. I just know y'all want to know about this acting. I know y'all want to know about this modeling. So I'm going to keep posting. So I give y'all all of my little love. And that's all for tonight.